okay. uh, happened in my solo queue, but not exactly with a victory screen at the end. So let's see how this all ends up. Pike is the obvious one because hook champions with Callista have always been a thing. Think of the Ballista days with the yep. Raid's Call and Blitzcrank interaction. Don't get quite that interaction with Nautilus, but it does mean that Nautilus can walk up and even from the support role, start whacking away, start looking for the passive. Yeah, and it's crazy. Tom Kench. That's only relevant for top lane Tom Kench. For support Tom Kench that often doesn't reach level 16, it's pretty much nerfed in yeah. most realistic scenarios. Only people will know, but it's W now. Grounds as if you feasted an enemy champion, so it's in your belly, you can't flash. It is defensively only really for popping a single CC from the enemy. AT just kind of run at the Drake here. They've got the Callista, they've got the setup. Can Jin Air respond or do Jin Air want to respond? Yeah, first roam from B to D, but also bringing Kingen down here as they start the fight. The kickback there is on to Kellen. Heal comes out, he flashes his prey. He's on his own, but meanwhile in the backline, Grace, great shove. He's going to burn down, but not down far enough. And the Mountain Drake will be all KT, will be able to get. Adorable fight though, and very lucky that Jin Air the fourth. Very much doesn't need too many explanations. Speaking of base tech. Oh, he's going to be able to pull him back over the wall there as well. Q is going to land. Umpty gets himself all the way in. The flat comes down. That's the death from below. And King and gives Umpty all of that free money. Undertow does not whether he's actually going to be able to make it out here though as Grace. He finds him. He was on vision. He gets ignited immediately and that's not going to be enough to get himself out of there. Grace He's going to help grab the kill for Mulra. Super lazy recall yeah, spot. Point. Definitely watching further action though. Yep, very early flash there. Azumti's taken so many turret shots, eventually gets himself slightly out of range as Kingen's gonna try and get his way out of there. Weaver's wall comes forward, but safeguards a good ability. KT will survive top side. Our plate collision. BDD with once again the inside track in the mid lane though. Should be able to make sure that KT can secure this. No turret plates are gonna go down for them though. As a result, this is a scary idea we were talking about. Yeah. With hook champions, with picks, with reset ultimates. Hard for Jin Air to approach us, but they're going in with the top bench. Yeah, the Abyssal Voyage is going to come down. That's immediately the hook that's going to land. Ragnarok has to be invested as Umti gets a huge kick into the back line and the massive knockups. Death from below is exactly that as KT. Four Grace most likely. King is going to dive on forward there as the Devour comes in, but you ain't walking very fast after that now. The Death from below is going to get the reset. That's two for now. Can he find more? The answer looks to be no, but the Bone Skewer does land. And also, that scenario, TP into the Minion Wave here. Jin Air caught. Yep, and uh, Snowflower does have to go gold, and BDD dives into the back line, gets the Shroud down as Malrong's going to go gold as well, but BDD, he's found Grace on the back end. He's out of the fight. Malrong now finds himself 1v4, and Snowflower Flower even survives. The back is going to come in. Jin Air can't do anything, and Baron will go to KT. Perfect play from KT in both scenarios. Desperate TP coming in. Ezreal ult to spot. Can Jin Air do anything? Yep, True Shot Barrage is going to come down, but Prey, he's got that E button. There is a smite from Umpty. This will be going to KT as Prey's trying to turn this one around. He's very, very low, though, as Root does do some damage. The Baron does go to KT, but can Jin Air tidy up? The answer is most likely no, but Prey goes into the stopwatch. He dies eventually as Linderung has a lot of damage. Can KT finish him off? The answer is they yes. They took what they wanted and continues the game on as we're looking for the flanks. No Glare and Umpty make their way in. BDD's already there though as Root. He's able to get himself out of the way. Fate's Call comes in. Prey just hopping around the backside of the fight. Grace, he's going to be the first one to go down. Root gets flashed on by Prey of all people. And then KT are able to dive back over the wall there as well. Linderung wonders where everyone disappeared to. And I'm sorry, sir, they've all gone into the death chamber. And Linderung, you may be following them even if you make it under your Nexus turrets. Flanks for the memories, even if they weren't so great for you, Jin Air. It's going to be the end of game number one. Casey with Prey going to start up hot. Yep, they're still looking for Linderong, but these Nexus turrets are looking too juicy. KT, game at number one of the summer split for 2019 looks way better than all that Spring had to offer for them. This is not relegation.